Hello fellow collectors, Frank M. TTM here, back with another TTM success video. TTM stands for Through the Mail. This is Through the Mail Autographs. Go to Autographs Through the Mail, for mostly from sports players. I get all my ad addresses from sportscardforum.com and sportscollectors.net. Both great, great sites that have free versions if you're getting into TTM. I find them very handy. I got three today to share. All these players here debuted in the major leagues in the 1950s. So I'm looking forward to share these with you. Let's get right out of here. First in the box here, we have a one for one, and this took 155 days. No fee. I was going to wonder if I was going to get this one back. This is out of Johnstown, Pennsylvania. We have Mr. Tom Quelters. Tom Quelters on this 19. 54 tops reprint card. It's a set that I'm working on. Um, and look in there and nice and black ink. This is Thomas Francis Qualters. He, his nickname was Moneybags. He was born April 1st, 1935 in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. He was a six foot tall right-handed pitcher. He played with the Philadelphia Phillies and the Chicago White Sox during the 1950s. He first signed with the Phillies on June 16, 1953, out of high school for a $400,000 bonus. He was a star pitcher at Keys, the Keysport High School, where he's, he was known for striking out 21 batters in a seven inning game and 24 batters in an eight inning game, only while well on one hit in each contest. He was a highly touted prospect coming out of high school. He also excelled in basketball and football. Um, so, so after signing with the Phillies due to the bonus baby rule, which required anybody signing over a $4,000 bonus to spend two full seasons in the majors before going to the minors, he spent 1953 and 1954 entirely in the majors, though did not receive much playing time and was actually not received very well. Apparently, the team had caught popular veteran outfielder Jackie Mayo to make room for for Qualters. Um, so the coaches and the manager, Steve O'Neill, believe he shouldn't be on the team. So he only got one pitching appearance in those two seasons. And that occurred on September 13th, 1953. He was put in the game um, to relieve... Tommy Glaviano in the bottom of the eighth with the Phillies losing 11 to 1 to the Cardinals in St. Louis. Fortunately, he only pitched one third of an inning, allowing six earned runs um, for a whopping 162 ERA for that season. He did not pitch in another major league game until September 7th, 1957, despite the fact he was on the 1954's. Philly roster for the um, for the entire season. So according to the Sports A Cycler Baseball, only four players have been on a major league roster all season with the internet game. <clears throat> Qualters went to the bar ballpark every day, but didn't play. He often he also pitched often pitched bat in practice. Um, but go to the bullpen. Yeah, uh, through the game to watch the games, and he didn't receive any any support or any instruction from any of the managers or the coaches at all. He didn't receive any instruction until he went to the he was sold to the Chicago White Sox in 1958 after pitching three minor league seasons with the Phillies. Um, when he went to the White Sox, he pitched solidly out of the White Sox bullpen in 1958. Pitched in 26 relief appearance for the 4.19 ERA. He holds the distinction of being the only pitcher to appear on a tossed baseball card four times with ever, ever recording a win or loss. He did not have a win or a loss at all during his major league career. In total, he pitched 34 relief appearances and and ended up with a career of 5.64 ARAs and 52 innings pitch. He had the inside track to, to make the White Sox fit, fit, start in, fit starter in 1959, but he hurt his arm in spring training when pitching coach Ray Barry's attempt to change his mechanics. 
who was sent down to AAA. And he spent time with a number of different minor league teams and different organizations from 1960 to 62, but never gained his effectiveness and retired. After baseball, Qualtas managed Arkell service stations for a while, then found his true crawling as a cons conservation officer. He was always a big lover of the outdoors. He, had, he has five children and ten grandchildren. Qualtas' grandson, Sean Stifler, is head coach at Virginia Commonwealth University. And another grandson, Ian Stif Stifler, was selected in the 2013 amateur draft. So, thank you very much, Mr. Qualtas, for getting this back to me. Nice looking signature there. Do appreciate it very much. Next in the box, we have a one for one. And this was a light and quick seven days for... I threw in a $5 donation with this one. This is out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This was Mr. Bobby Shantz. Here for the set as well. The 1954 Tops reprint. This is the second time I've got Mr. Shantz back. If you look back on episode 20, I, 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 I revealed him back then. So I'm not going to do a long bio here. I've done a bio before. This is Robert Clayton Shantz, born on September 26, 1935, in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. He was a left-handed left throwing pitcher that played 16 seasons in the majors, 1954, 1949-54. Uh, to what year? 64. He played with the Philadelphia Athletics, then Kansas City Athletics, New York Yankees, Pittsburgh Pirates, Houston Colt 45s, St. Louis Cardinals, Philadelphia Phillies, Biggest chunk of his career were, were with the Athletics and the Yankees. Um, later in his career, he played with those other teams. He was the 1952 MVP with the Philadelphia Athletics. Leading the league with 24 wins. He was a three-time All-Star in 1951 and 52 with the Athletics. And 1957 with the Yankees, a year where he led the league with a 2.45 ERA. And won his first of his eight gold gloves. He was... Very solid in the field. He was a good fielder. And for his career, he won 119 games, lost 109, lost 99. He made 537 pitcher appearances, 171 starts with a 3.38 ERA. He had 78 complete games, 15 shutouts, and 48 saves. And he, I did ask him some questions, which he answered on the separate card here. Ask, ask him, you know, who was your favorite? Um, catch it to work with you know said he said he's, he worked with a lot of great ones probably the best was Elston Howard and I asked him as well you know did he keep any of his memorabilia from his playing career and he did he kept his um 1952 MVP and his eight gold gloves which he has at home and he says thank you for your kindness it's pretty cool I wonder how he has it displayed I have to ask that next time I send out to him wonder if he has them out in a room or something like that would be pretty cool. I'm interested in that sometimes. Thank you very much, Mr. Schatz. Do appreciate it. Finding in the box, I have a one for one and an eight quick lightning days for a $5 donation I put in there out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We have Mr. Roy Face. Elroy Face. Again on the 54 Tops reprint. Some questions I'll get to in a minute. And this is the second time I got Mr. Face back. I got him back on episode 19, if you'd like to watch that return. This is Elroy Leon Face, born February 20th, 1928, in Stevenson, New York, right? He was a right-handed pitcher that pitched 16 seasons in the majors, 1953 to 1969. The most of his career, his greatest years, with the Pittsburgh Pirates, he played almost 14 of those seasons with them and he played um had two relief appearances in september 1968 with the detroit tigers and he spent his final season with the montreal expos the expansion expos in 1969 he was a six-time all-star in 1959 1960 and 61 that was the years they played two all-star games of course he was a 1960 world champ with the pirates shout out to math bowler Big Pirates fan. I'm sure you would like this one right here, Mr. Elroy Face, who's a 
Three-time save leader. 58, 61, and 62. He's the prototype of the uh, closer came along in the future year. He finished... He led the league in games finished four times and he, he had pitched in appearances twice. For his career, he won 104, lost 95 at a 3.48 ERA, and he had 191 career saves. And I forgot to add that uh, Mr. Elroy Face did answer a few questions. I said, Mr. Face, who was your favorite catcher to work with? That would be Hank Foyles. Did you keep him in my brother from your playing days? If so, what? Gave a lot to my former high school. So, thank you so much, Mr. Face. I do appreciate it very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Qualters. Do appreciate it. Sweet looking signature. Sweet looking Bobby Chance signature and blue ink there. Thank you, Mr. Chance. I do appreciate it. And darker blue. I like that, how it kind of matches his hat. I like the choice of uh, the color there, Mr. Eroy F e Elroy Face. Ah, stumbled with my words a bit today. I like how he signed it, Elroy Face. Down there he signed it, the, the Faximal Autograph Roy Face. Do appreciate it very much. I do appreciate you all joining me this midweek TTM reveal. And I just want to remind you that I have a contest going on right now. This is a uh, get rich by giving away baseball cards. Um, the deadline for this contest entry is this Friday, May 21st, 2021 at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, this is the opportunity to win some, some Tops Heritage 2021. Um, you know, go back and watch that video if you're interested. It's a video response contest. So we've had three people so far enter with the video. And if, if you're so you enter it, I, you know, get in get in on the contest. I'd like to get more more contestants in this. Although I'm sure those three guys would not mind being the only three since they know they will get a prize. But uh, I'd love to have more. I would love to see what kind of generosity that people have shared with you out there, either in the community or in other other areas, you know, of cards you've got. Some people I've watched so far, great. Great reveals there, baseball fan 75, Alan Twitchell, you know, and um, sorry who else shared with me. One more person, I apologize. Um, 6G, sorry. Yeah, th those are the three that have done a video so far. So get in, get in on it. I would love to see, I'd love to see some more videos. Let's 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 spread the the message of generosity here. You know, in these crazy times in the collected world. Anyways, we'll leave it at that. Take care. God bless. Peace.